Welcome to Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. So today I'm gonna to be as useful as I possibly can and I'm gonna tackle on the question that I think is killing us all and that has to do with a mixture of range anxiety and tow anxiety because the F-150 Lightning brings us both. You know, electric vehicle fans have traditionally always had a bit of range anxiety. And truck clients have always worried about how much they can tow, and not just what it can tow a vehicle or a truck can tow on paper, but how it's gonna tow it. So, you know, how is your back end gonna squat down? And, you know, what kind of fuel are you gonna be burning? How much fuel are you gonna burn when you do tow? And this is tricky because truck companies don't share what their vehicles consume in fuel when towing. Hey Mary, what, what do you need a truck for? To bring some flowers home? No, Mary. Try again. Dirt bags? No. And you don't need a truck for your golf clubs, because they all fit even in a Mustang. Golf clubs, dirt bags, all that stuff is why you want a truck. And that's why Marie doesn't really need a truck, and that's why she's getting a plug-in escape uh, once it comes in. But what you need a truck for is for towing and hauling. And you know, how do you buy a truck when you don't really know how it's gonna perform when towing, especially an electric truck? You really need to know what kind of range you're gonna get, or at least a really good guesstimate of what kind of range you'll get when you're towing, and that's what we're, we're gonna be looking at today. Welcome to Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. So today we're gonna to be covering the Ford Lightning. Yeah, that's an F-150 all electric truck. Not the old F-150 Lightning, but the new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. Uh, more importantly, this is gonna be actually a series of videos. So today and tonight, what I'm gonna be talking about is probably the most important and, you know, stressful question it's the question that prevents us or many of us from putting a deposit. And hey, we gotta hurry in. There's already been about 45,000 reservations made. So if you don't want this to be like the Bronco and end up reserving much later on and maybe getting your, your F-150 Lightning in you know two or even three years, jump on it. And I'm gonna help you do that today. Um, you know, I normally wouldn't be making a video uh, this late, the lighting's off. And not, or when I'm this tired and burnt because I've been gardening and mountain biking and uh, in the sun all day, so I am crispy burnt. I'm gonna be to do my I'm gonna do my best here for you. Uh, I'll try not to stutter. Uh, I'm doing my best here for you because how do you reserve a vehicle when you know the F-150 right now is combining two major anxieties that exist in the automobile world: range anxiety and towing anxiety so we're going to cover that uh, we're going to cover about what kind of range i'm going to guesstimate at you're going to get when you tow with this bad boy great looking truck so well done ford love the look of this very excited um, you know, and stay tuned, uh, you know, if you want to help me out, I'm trying to help you out tonight, uh, but if you want to help me out, like and subscribe. It's free, it doesn't hurt, and it won't do anything bad for you, but it definitely helps me out. So here, here I'm going to jump right in, you know, something to keep in mind is that every number that we saw when they, you know, unveiled this uh, just a few days ago, were for the extended range battery. So night one, before the spec sheet came out, uh, I did a video on it and I covered it right away saying like, hey, you know, look at the small writing on the back of the building. It said extended range battery. So, you know, the 775 horsepower, uh, sorry, pound feet of torque, uh, luckily we're getting that on both batteries, but different horsepower ratings. I'm gonna be covering all the differences in another video, what's optional, and you know what's standard there's some amazing stuff that's going to come standard with this truck i really look forward to sharing that with you and i'm going to be doing that in the future but for tonight let's look at the two major anxieties that exist uh electric 
vehicle fans. What's their anxiety? Range. They have range anxiety. Towing at uh, truck fans. What's the anxiety behind towing? Uh, towing numbers. Well, it's how is it really going to tow and what kind of fuel am I going to burn when towing? Well, this F-150 Lightning combines both of those. So how do you reserve when you have no idea uh, what the, the range is going to be when you tow? Well, two pieces of great information. First of all, I'm going to do a good guesstimate to help you out. And secondly, when you do get this truck, uh, it's going to have, you know, your 15.5 inch touchscreen is going to let you know, give or take, based on traffic, weather conditions, and the route you're taking, and what you're pulling, because it's going to know how much you're pulling. Uh, it's going to weigh that. Uh, the truck itself is going to weigh how much payload, how much weight is on the box, and how much you're pulling. So it's going to have a good idea, and it's going to be able to tell you, hey, this is how far you're going to get with the battery. However, here's the issue. Don't wait to reserve. Uh, these things are going to be, I'm sure, extremely popular. If you reserve in a few weeks or a few months, you might be getting pushed back to a second or third year production. So let's guesstimate together. So the first good piece of news is that once you have this truck, it's going to give you a good idea when you're towing how far you're going to go before you leave home or work. Here's the bad news. Truck companies do not give uh, their miles per gallon when ratings when towing. They don't say, you know, you pull 5,000 pounds, 8,000 pounds, and 10,000 pounds, this is how many miles per gallon you're gonna take. And they don't even tell you how, lo how long your gas tank is gonna last. So don't expect this out of this electric truck. I don't expect at any point Ford's gonna come out and say, hey, if you tow, you know, 6,400 pounds, uh, you're gonna cut the battery in half. But here's the thing, kind of have already said a whole lot in just that one phrase. I expect this truck, a standard F-150 weight, I expect this truck's weight to be about 6,400 pounds. The, an F-150 weighs between about 4,800 and 5,200 pounds. Let's say this weighs with, all, you get an XLT. Uh, let's say it weighs 5,200 pounds. Well, let's add 1,400 pounds and we're gonna be at 6,600 pounds. Hopefully my math is, uh, is good. I, like I said, I'm very sunburnt uh, and I'm pretty tired, but I think this is super important because I gotta help you all uh, get a reservation on this and feel good about putting your reservation on this so that you have a better, night, a better idea of range. So if the truck weighs 6,400 pounds and you're getting 230 miles out of the standard battery and 300 miles out of uh, the extended range battery and the truck weighs 6,400 pounds, wouldn't it make sense that if you're pulling 6,400 pounds that you're going to cut that down basically in half? Now of course, something to keep in mind, and this is really good news. So far Ford products, uh, our electric the, their electric vehicles are getting better than estimated range, you know, so they're in the federal approved way of measuring. Uh, a lot of clients, a lot of people are getting better range. The Mach-E, a lot of people are getting better range than what's advertised. And that's just generally true, actually, of quite a few electric companies. Uh, so the good news is you're going to get more. The bad news is based on weather conditions, traffic, and whatnot, you're going to get less range. But here's another piece of a, a piece that gets people anxious when it comes to electric vehicles, the battery's lifespan. So, you know, I've seen this go by in the last over eight years. The Ford's batteries are great, uh, you know, not, no issues with catching fire and whatnot. And they're warrantied eight years or 100,000 miles, whichever may come first. Now, I, I've had some people think, oh, that means like all electronics, you know, two months later, like the, my TV, two months after it's off warranty, boom, it breaks. No, that's not how these batteries work. And that warranty actually makes it so that they guarantee your battery will also keep 70% of its uh, original capacity. So, you know, range and whatnot. So over eight years or 100,000 miles, they're promising you that that battery is, not, is always gonna have above 70% of its original capacities. So, you know, if we do a little bit of quick math on the longevity of this battery, 
which Ford has had great uh, longevity on their uh, electric vehicles, plug-in vehicles, uh, and hybrid vehicles. If Ford's able to warranty the battery with only losing a maximum of, let's say, 29% over eight years or 100,000 miles, I think it's then sensible to think that in double that amount of time, you wouldn't lose more than, at most, another 28 or 29%. And probably it'll be about maybe you'll lose, you know, 15, 20 percent every eight years. So, you know, some people are thinking these are going to be, you know, dispo disposable toys and that will treat them like iPhones. I don't think they'll ever will ever be in a situation where these things are only going to last eight years. I think they're going to last 16 years plus. And boy, do I ever really hope so, because the environmental effect of creating these batteries isn't so great. I know that's the news that none of you want to hear. Um, but it's true. Um, so far, we have issues with how to recycle uh, batteries. Uh, it's not great, it's not simple, uh, and it's not easy. And it's also not great for the environment when we create these batteries. Not just the mining process, um, but the because the mining process isn't pretty either, but the creation process isn't the cleanest uh, form uh, that could exist. So hopefully, um, and Ford is actually working on that. They're actually working on removing one of the chemicals that are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty hazardous to the environment and replacing it with some, with a, a new material. So we'll sit back and wait for that. But, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, 230 miles out of the standard battery, cut that in half. If you're going to be towing 6,400 pounds, you know, until we actually have people drive these and they've had them in their yards and they've worked with them for at least a month and they, they start posting this on the internet. I think this is about the best that we can do. You know, if you're, you know, if you're gonna be towing 20 or 30% more or less, well, you know, add 20 or 30% to, you know, 230 miles, cut in half, 115 miles when towing is I think what we're gonna get when towing 6,400 pounds. Now, why do I think that the truck's gonna weigh 6,400, uh, sorry, 1,400 pounds more than your standard F-150 XLT? Simple. The Mach-E, slightly smaller than an Escape, is 1,200 pounds heavier, and it's slightly smaller, so give or take 200, maybe 300 pounds of added metal uh, to create an Escape, but I bet it's about 200 pounds of added metal on the Escape versus the Mach-E. And we're looking at a battery weight or the whole electric system with battery difference of about 1,400 pounds. So I slapped 1,400 pounds on the weight of an F-150. Uh, so let's say XLT, five and a half foot box um, with the extra equipment. I'm thinking about 6,400 pounds and at 6,400 pounds, uh, you tow, you, let's say you get 115 miles, and then obviously simple math on the 300 mile battery, you get about 150 miles when towing. Now, this is the best I can do in regards to a guesstimate. If I think of new variables or if people from the community wanna post down um, what they think uh, could be the variables that uh, change what I've said, please, please go ahead. Uh, you know, we're all learning and working together. Uh, mind you, in the past, my, my guesstimates, my educated guesstimates have been pretty good, so let's hope I got this one wrong, and hopefully when you tow, it's actually less. Uh, you're at, Sorry, you'll actually get more range, so let's hope that it's, it's, it's better than what I'm thinking. But I'm thinking that it's probably going to be about a 50% loss. Let's hope it's less. And you know what? We won't know until people are driving these things, because I highly doubt Ford's going to be sharing that with us. So to conclude, um, you know, I know there's going to be, and there already is some anxiety in regards to towing. If you're a truck owner, there's definitely some anxiety in regards to range. If you're an electric vehicle shopper or owner, and hopefully I've helped you out here today. You know, 230 miles on the standard range battery is fantastic, but you're going to cut that probably in half when you're towing the, the weight of the truck, 6,400 pounds. And 300 mile range is also incredible. Keep in mind that battery, it's gonna kick you up about an extra $9,800. Um, but that extended range battery, 300 miles, that's great. Amazing power. Uh, I, I love this thing and uh, I've reserved one. Uh, it'll, it'll be between my two Broncos, Bronco number one, lightning truck, and then Bronco number two. But, uh, 
I'm pretty excited, uh, but 300 miles cut in half is 150 miles. That's still pretty good because I'll cover it in a different video. Um, so like and subscribe and you'll hear more videos on the F-150 Lightning. I'm probably gonna be doing about eight to 10 videos uh, before this thing actually arrives. And the next video I wanna cover is, you know, the optional equipment versus the standard equipment to help you decide which battery to take. Is it gonna be worth the extra $9,900 or so? I'm not sure, I'm gonna be analyzing that and that's, I'm not sure because it depends on the individual. For me, my mind's already made up. I've already studied and analyzed the spec sheet. I know, I, and I know what, what I need this truck for. So my mind's made up, but I'm gonna help you make your mind up. And really that's the goal of this channel. Uh, I wanna help people, um, I wanna help people make good, smart decisions that they don't regret, you know, good vehicle purchasing decisions. I love reviewing vehicles and I really look forward to off-roading that Bronco. So I'll be getting uh, off-road footage and hopefully, um, you know, you can like and subscribe and I can get up to a little over a thousand subscribers. So that way, when I break parts on that Bronco and off-roading, uh, these videos can help pay for some of those parts because uh, what I reminded myself today when mountain biking and getting this crazy sunburn is that, uh, well, I'm not always the best in the woods. Uh, so I'll just post some photos at the end of what I picked uh, off today, mountain biking. But uh, the, the, the wife, she was pretty, pretty, pretty tired from this mountain biking experience and really looks forward for that bro Bronco coming in. And that's why I've switched to the soft top. So if you want to know all sorts of stuff, Bronco information uh, that's gathered from live, you know, in real world experience and also based on a whole lot of reading from the internet um, you know i'm taking my live uh, in-house dealer experiences uh, what i'm getting from info from there what i'm getting online and i always trying to work towards the truth to try to get us the best info possible to really help us out uh, pick the right vehicles and uh, you know i hope this has been helpful and if you know if it has you know what to do and uh, just want to sign out here with uh, more cars and more power to all of you. So I wish that for your, your week. This week I'm on less cars and uh, less power because I sold the truck. So now I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Um, Mary needs a vehicle to drive because she does not want to drive the Marauder. So, uh, you know, if you have any ideas, post them down. Good used vehicle to last us until that plug-in escape shows up. Take care. Have a great week.